DAC, that means digital analog converter. As you all know that we have studied DAC in analog circuit design. The basic form of DAC is nothing but digital analog converter which converts the digital signal to analog pulses. Now we are going to discuss that how this interfacing of DAC is used in ATX for microprocessors. And now the basic like uh, we saw about the going to DAC is like uh, weighted sum and R2 or ladder. And uh, the most thing which will be using is R2 or ladder because it gives a uh, good current values and high precision. And uh, we will also be using like uh, DAC is nothing but famous for digital inputs. Like everything the inputs will be in form of binary. And uh, generally these are represented in 8 bits. 4 bits and the output will be represented in form of analog pulses that will be equal to 4 and this is nothing but number of binary inputs. Suppose we will give the input as 8 bits, then it will be 256. So therefore, output will be like 256 discrete voltages. So, this is the basic concept in the DAC. And now, my friends, Harsha and um, Dairi, Rupesh, uh, Vamsi, and many others are going to discuss about the other programs, how to using DAC and, uh, and many more things in coming videos. Now, I would like to describe about the digital to analog conversions of the binary code by using micro 8051 microcontroller in assembly level language for the conversion of digital to analog here there we can use many many, many logics by here but here we are using sawtooth generation logic for the conversion here clc clc or clear the carry flag sub is used to decrement the contents of a cj and is decrements of a up to 00, zero and here to continue the loop we use s jump back and for the delay we use more more and register r1 comma 0f is a delay program and we use the label next for dj r1 comma next return and n and here we can see the sawtooth generation and the uh, minimum minimum is for zero and the maximum is for one here we can see the sawtooth generation and the output of the program and the gender and the conversion of digital to analog digital to analog conversion my name is jaydeep uh, now i am now i am explaining about uh, generation of sine wave uh, in this sine wave first we have to initiate a header file register dot 51 uh, uh, and then we have to assign void main in that void main we have to first initiate the character a in that character a we have to assign uh, uh, 12 values for example 12 values i i have taken uh, any value you can take and then we have to again assay in the character x uh, after that uh, we have to initiate the while loop um, which it is uh, infinite loop <coughs> we have to generate the for loop in that for loop we have to take first x is equal to zero uh, after uh, for each iteration it will be increased by one value and uh, each value will be stored in the p1 is uh, p is equal to a of x each each value will be stored in this p1 and this and output uh, sine wave so okay and and generation of uh, sine wave we can see in this output good morning the aim of this experiment is to generate a tri triangular wave in cro using dual dac and 8051 microcontroller the code is as follows we first clear the accumulator we then Move the value in the accumulator to port 0. We then continuously increase the value in A till it reaches FFH. After that, it jumps to loop 2. In this, the value of A is continu continuously decreased to 00H. It then jumps back again to loop 1. This process continues. A necessary delay is given. We now go to debug mode. When we execute the code, we can see the value in port 0 continuously changes. It first goes from 0 to FF and then FF to 0. Thus, a triangular wave gets generated. Thank you. This is the code to generate a triangular wave using a DAC. 
Here in loop 1 we are incrementing the value till 0 FFH and in loop 2 we are decrementing it till 00 H by providing a delay. This is the setup used for digital to analog conversion. And here this is the generated triangular wave. Thank you. Origin 0H. That means this must be in inside decimal. Then we have to send the data to port 2. In this black move A to operation, we have to send data to port 2 and then increment of contents of A. Then we uh, convert the digital to analog conversion by using time. Then uh, we use HM back to use uh, branch to back and then we use delay programs to delay time delay the program. Here we go the output for this. And the output will be in solid shape. Thank you.